The House will be in order. The Chair lays before the House a communication from the Speaker. The Speaker's Rooms, Washington, D.C., April 7, 2020. I hereby appoint the Honorable Brad Sherman to act as Speaker Pro Tempore on this day. Signed, Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House of Representatives. The prayer will be offered by our Chaplain, Father Conroy. Let us pray. God of mercy, thank you for giving us another day. Your desire is for our wholeness and well-being. We implore you to be with us through the collective suffering of our world at this time. We grieve precious lives lost and vulnerable lives threatened and ache for ourselves and our neighbors standing before an uncertain future. May love, not fear, go viral. Inspire the members of this People's House to discern and choose wisely under conditions which render good function of government even more difficult. May their efforts be aligned with the common good. Help us to practice social distancing and all other methods of safe interaction while we strive to find new and creative ways to come together in spirit and in solidarity. In such a difficult time, help us to put our trust in you. May everything done this day be for your greater honor and glory. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for those words. Pursuant to Section 7A of House Resolution 891, the Journal of, La of the Last Day's Proceedings is approved. The chair will now lead the House in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair would take this occasion to announce a temporary change to the speaker's announced policy of January 3, 2019, regarding the introduction of bills and resolutions. The chair advises members that, notwithstanding such announced policy, bills and resolutions may be introduced in an electronic format in accordance with the specifications detailed by the speaker in her dear colleague letter of April 6, 2020, subject to any subsequent direction from the speaker. The chair further advises the speaker's direction to the official reporters pursuant to clause one of rule six that extensions of remarks and other submissions to the Congressional record by members be accepted in an electronic format in accordance with the Dear Colleague letter and subsequent direction from the Speaker as earlier referred. These policies will be effective through April 19th, and the Chair further advises that the policies may be extended if the continued disruption of House operations remains necessary due the, to the coronavirus pandemic. Pursuant to Section 7B of House Resolution 891, the House stands adjourned until 10 a.m. Correction, 9 a.m. That is 9 a.m. on Friday, April 10th, 2020.